What up, though? It's your boy Travis Warden here for episode one on the About Sparta podcast on Beyond the Big Ten, season two, episode one. Let's get it. Welcome back. Welcome back, everybody. Oh, man, Travis. Hey, man, it's been it's been a long time, my brother. I feel like it's been an eternity since I've seen you. Um, it's always good seeing your face. Hey, let's just start off by saying, how was your weekend? My dog, it is great to see you. We back at it, right? Sure. Season two, let's get it. But, no, nah, my weekend was great, bro. I was in Charlotte. We got to see our brother, baby Ray. Um, it was just a great time. I had the clinic out there. We got to get into the gym, but it was more about spending some time with with Ray. Right? I hadn't seen him in a very long time, and it was like we it was like uh, I seen him yesterday. No, we got to sure. see each other. It was great, man. And that's your brother from Canton, which is my brother. Yeah, so sure. it was great. It was great. Shout How out, was yours? Shout out, shout out to Baby Ray, man. Um, one of the one of the top entertainers in Canton. <laughs> history yeah. uh yeah. but yeah man my weekend was great man I, I close it out uh i always say monday is still part of my weekend i close it out by going to see uh dre play the pistons um the warriors in, in warrior fashion got it done uh clay i mean not clay but steph always puts on a clinic man the point <laughs> god the boy is just so smooth and in and, and his jumper jumper is so pure uh, it's it's always good to just you know be able to catch back up with my brothers and uh, you know get to watch some some good basketball and that and that's what was shown yesterday. Uh, speaking of yesterday, hold on, Ray, you had the best moment. Nephew was eating all the candy and the oh, pizza. Man, yeah. Oh man, big boy oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I can't forget that. <laughs> Shout out to my son, man, Trey. Trey had a ball at the game. I'm so glad I was able to take him. Um, just for the experience, we was in the suite, and Trey and, and Trey fashion was just going to town. Not watching a bit of basketball, but he was going to town on all the pizza, all the strawberries, all the fruit yeah. plates. Ah, uh, he was he was doing he was he was just being him, man. So I, I loved every minute of it, and everybody in the suite ended up talking about him. So he was the he was the talk of the town by the end of the game. So it was I great. Love it. Yeah, I love it. Um, with that being said, though, yesterday, unfortunately, uh, our Michigan State Spartans took a tough overtime loss to James Madison. Trav, just give me your outtake uh, on that game and what we could have done better to to possibly win that game. You know, I said this. We played Tennessee in the scrimmage. It didn't count, but it was on ESPN. So the world got to see the first look at Michigan State, top five team, which I think we are deserving of that ranking. We have every piece to be a national championship team this year. We didn't play that well at the beginning of that Tennessee game, right? right. A right. scrimmage. It didn't count. Right. But we didn't play well. We did some things that we could go into the locker room and feel good about to say, hey, we don't want to be this team, but we can be this team. And if we are this team, we're a lot better than 95% of every team in college basketball. Agreed. So to come in our first game after the excitement off of last week with the, with the football team having a big win, yeah, that's huge, by the way. Right? It was huge. Everyone's excited. They feeling good. They're ready for basketball season. The way we came out and how we started the game, we were, I was disappointed. I think as the game went on, we had our chances, right? We didn't start well, but we had our chances. We could have still won that game. They hit a big three. We shot the ball the worst we're going to shoot it all year. Yeah. One for 20, 5%. We also didn't shoot the ball well from the free throw line, right? 
23 for 37. 62%. <laughs> 62%. But I was more disappointed, and we get it back, but I was more disappointed because the same start to the game I seen against them, I just seen against Tennessee. Yeah. And for me, that's always an early alarm because it goes, everyone, go look yourself in the mirror. Ask yourself, are you 100% buying in to what the goals are and who we can be as a team and not who everyone think we are right now as a team, right? So I just was disappointed, but we'll get it back. Um, I think for me, um, it's just don't lose faith. Fans, alums, uh, coaching staff, um, team, don't lose faith. Uh, tr trust your instincts. Um, it's a long season. We're going to have hiccups. Um, who will be? Who are we to judge? Because we dropped some big games in preseason yeah. as well when we were in school. So, um, I mean, we're, we're human. We, we're going to have some setbacks. And it just happened that it's the first game of the year. Um, I think we can overcome this. We definitely have the talent to. Um, and, and we definitely have enough guys in rotation to make an impact and keep that energy going. Um, whether that's, you know, uh, the second unit um, and, and guys past the second unit because I, I think we have that deep of a team. Um, so I, I would just say don't lose faith. Um, stick together. We will be fine. Trust me, this team is way too good to have any doubt this early in the season. Agreed. I, we got a great team. Yeah. We're, we're yeah. deserving of a top five ranking. We got – Essentially, we had six starters last year. Yeah. The five we got down with Joey Hauser. Right. Who's on a two-way. Congrats. With Congrats, the Joey. Utah Jazz. And we have, I think the big thing that we know this, the big thing you got to have heading into, like in being a great team, when you're talking about making that long run, you got to have great guard play. I think we got one of the top point guards in the country, and A.J. Hogger. Yep. And I think Tyson Walker is one of the top combo guards in America. Hands down. And I think Jaden Atkins is in a great position to have a blow-up year. So, like you said, have faith. Panic, but don't panic. Look yourself in the mirror. Ask, what can you do? If I'm the team, if we were there and I was the captain, I would call a team meeting, and I will say, I want everybody to look themselves in the mirror. Yeah. I want everyone to write something down on what you can do better and how we are going to hold each other accountable to this. You remember, our, our, in that year we made it to the national championship, we lost to Maryland. At Walt Disney World. Yeah. We came back and beat Wichita State and Oklahoma State. That was a big loss when we lost to Maryland. No. They had Grievous Vasquez, right? It was a good team. Yeah. We came back after that, and I remember having that meeting in the film room where Coach was going at everyone. Yeah. But we all took a deep look at ourselves, right? Because I played really well out there. Yeah. But Kalen and Darrell didn't play as well. And they were big pieces to us being good. Yeah. And I remember Coach Sam, I was upset when he actually said it. He was like, Travis, you had 16 or 18 points, but you didn't play no defense. <laughs> and I was like, what? <laughs> no, nah, but yeah, you're right, though. You, you, you're right. <laughs> right? And... and, and I remember that because that was like at that time, I'm like, I just scored. Right. I but was hooping. <laughs> I was hooping. But, but again, I was the defender. Yeah. Yeah. So I had to make sure that my standard defensively was up here. 
and we had you, Kalen, the re- you guys were guys that we needed to score. Well, yeah, yeah. So there was expectation on you guys as well. Like, nah, Ray, come on. Like yeah. for you, it was we need you to rebound, we need you to defend, yeah. we need you to score. You got to do all those things for us to be really good. Yeah, for sure. And Kalen, we need you to go get buckets and run this team. Because me and him was playing combo. Sometimes he hit the two. Sometimes I'm at the one. Yeah, for sure. So, I think, you know, we got the guard play. We, we'll be fine. I think so, too. I think, I think what's, what's needed right now is a team meeting. Um, and I think who needs to hold this team meeting is going to be two people. Malik Hall, simply because he is the vet. He, is, he has been there the longest um, and AJ Hogart, um, AJ because he he's the point guard. He's mm-hmm. the he's the coach on the floor. He's he's our leader. Um, these two guys need to have a meeting um, and just put everything out on the floor. Um, tell them what's expected and what and what we do here, and and, and hold everybody to that to that standard. Um, if we can do that, um, I think it's no doubt in my mind. I'm gonna make a prediction right now that we will win the national championship and guys will be able to flourish and get awards as well. Individual awards. Um, I think personally the, the big 10 defensive player of the year goes to Jaden Akins. And I think the freshman of the year in the big 10 will go to Xavier Booker simply because they, Xavier is so talented um, his ceiling is so high. He reminds me a lot of Jaron Jackson um, with his length, um, his frame, um, his shot blocking ability, and just his versatility. He can shoot. Um, the sky's the limit for this guy. So it, it's just about us looking at each other in the mirror, like you said, and putting this all in, in play, man. I think we have the tools to do it. It's just uh, It's just about us going out and doing it now. I love that idea, Ray. I, I, I agree with that. I think a team meeting with AJ and Malik being the key guys talking, I love that. Yeah. And this is yeah. why I love this. I love that idea. Because AJ, you are the general. He's the general. Yeah, everybody knows. And they go as you go, right? And we need to have a great year for him to get the recognition he deserves. Yeah. yeah. So he needs to go and say, these losses are on me. This loss on me. Yeah. Everything that I was doing before, I'm going to turn it up. I think Malik, it's great for Malik as well, because Malik goes, I have versatility. I can do multiple things. I can score. I can defend multiple positions. I can be this X factor every game. Because one thing is for sure, it's for sure, Tyson Walker going to put that ball in the hole. Oh, without a doubt. He going to put the ball in the hole. So with with him putting the ball in the hole, we know what we're going to get from him. For sure. I think we have to know what we're going to get from AJ and Malik every night. For sure. So I, I love that. That would that would be a, that's a great idea. And, and to take it a step further, I think I think it's more so on Malik as well because he has the potential to to not only teach guys but just show them. Um, and the, the guys I'm talking about is Cohen Carr and Xavier Booker. They all play the same position: the three, the four. You can move them around. They play defense. They can guard a lot of positions. But he is the cornerstone in, in, you know, setting everybody up in that position. So I think he has to do a not – only, not only does he have to look himself in the mirror, but he has to do a better job in helping bring those guys along. If it's getting them in the gym with some extra shots or it's just pulling them to the side when they come out, when they first come out of the game – and, you know, just being in their ear a little bit and, and guiding them because it's it's tough. It's tough being a freshman. Everybody goes through this, and everybody knows how it is coming in from being the man to now playing a, a specific role in a, in a team-oriented uh, 
basketball club. I mean, it's it, it, it's difficult. It's difficult. And, and a lot of guys don't always transition well. But I think if Malik can pull those guys and keep them under his wings for the whole year, it'll make a big impact on not only the team, but for those guys as well. Yeah. No, I love that. That's a that's a great idea. Um, we, need, we need to text them. <laughs> with, with all that being said, Trav, give me give me your X factor um, for the the latest game versus JMU. I think the X factor was Cohen Carr. Yeah, I think his energy, um, going five for six, yeah, um, from the field. I think he can bring that every night. So I think early in the year he can be that X factor with his ability, his F. Obviously, we know he's this amazing athlete. And teams are going to try to take that away, but you can't let them take it away. Yeah. Right? You got to, and you got to be efficient. So being five for six from the field, having 14 points as a freshman, you know what, Ray? I, hey, you was one of them ones. Your freshman year, you had like the record for, I don't yeah. know, 20 games of double yeah. figures. Yeah. yeah so. Like that. It was a lot, and I think he's a guy that yeah. could – I'm not sure if it's still a record, but he's a guy that can actually – if it is a record, that can contest your record. He, he, can, he can definitely entertain it, that's for he sure. He can entertain uh, it, man. He, 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 he can, can definitely it. entertain it. Uh, with him, man, it's, I think he just needs to realize it doesn't take much for him to be involved. Yes, Yes. All he has to do is the simple things. Yes. Run the floor, offensive rebound, and defend. Yes. If he does those, those things at a high level, not only will he be on the floor more, but his game will then come to light because it's going to open up so much more. Just him getting in transition and showing off, showing off how freakishly athletic he is is a plus. It's no way – that this kid shouldn't have the pregame dunk every 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 warm up. Right, he yeah. need, he needs to lead it. That needs to be his thing. When scouts start coming to the gym, he needs to put on a dunk clinic just yes. to show his athleticism. Because yes. the guy, like I said last year, he is top three. Probably one. If we if we if we keeping it if we keeping it a, a a bean, he's probably the best athlete that has come through Michigan State. And I said this last year, by the way. I don't know if I'm gonna go there. I don't know if I'm gonna go there. I, I, hey, hey, I, I'm just but, saying. I, 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 I called it out last year. I said this kid that. before he got on camera. I said this kid is one, but he's for sure top three. And my top three was Jason Richardson. Miles Bridges, and your and and yours truly, Cohen Carr. See, I actually have Jason Richardson, Shannon Brown, Cohen Carr. Ooh, right, like I, like I like that though. You can't go wrong with SB. You know why you can't go wrong? Because SB's one leg was just <laughs> ridiculous. His one leg, I, his and one the, leg was amazing. And, and the fact that a lot of people don't. Unless you're a real basketball fan, the fact that Shannon's hands are so large and oh. big, he oh. could literally dribble a basketball in in mid dribble, palm the basketball, and just take off. So that gave him a, a crazy yes. advantage in 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 fast break and getting out on that break, man. So that may that may as be dangerous, man. And he is he's for sure one of my favorites as far as athletes go, but. Bro, this guy Cohen Carr is different. Like we, he hey. Trav, Trav, he is the first. He's the first athlete that I have seen that can dunk off left foot, right foot, two feet. He can do any type of dunk that you want. He can, he he jumped from the free throw line, Trav. He jumped from the free throw line, and he didn't just. He didn't just barely make it. He did a touch the back. Eh. Excuse me, I'm coming through the lane. Eh. Flush from the free throw line. Man, Travis, without a doubt for me, it's Cohen Carr's the best athlete 
to ever to ever right. ever come through Michigan State. Right. Jason Richardson is still touching the ball. Hey, you a hundred percent right. It is crazy. I, I listen. This summer, I told Jay Rich. I said, Jay Rich, I don't know what you're drinking in this protein shake, but the fact that you're still jumping like this and still hooping like this is ridiculous. Jason Richardson is Jay giving Rich. You gotta money. come on the show. You gotta come on the show, Jay Rich, and give your secret. You give your secret sauce to what what you're doing in, in this with this protein shake because it's it's ridiculous. This is it's unfair. It's ridiculous. Last year, I seen a mixtape of Jay Rich in the open gym going crazy. Man, he's, he's ridiculous. I said, no way. He's ridiculous. And then when he came up this year for Grind Week and I just watched him, I said, this is incredible. He may be the best. I think he's the best athlete to come to Michigan State basketball. Because I, I don't I, know. I wouldn't, be, I wouldn't be mad at that statement. I yeah. don't think so with Cohen, but I I I, I would not be mad. He is one A one B. Yeah, because it's crazy. Yeah, cause it's, it's ridiculous. What he's doing to this day is ridiculous. It's O D. Yeah. Let's move on. Um. Okay, Trav, give me your breakout or surprise candidate for the season. Um. Or better yet, give me your prediction on the season. Um, can MSU ultimately compete for a national championship? Or can they win Big Ten uh, or the Big Ten tournament? Tell, tell me your thoughts on that. Three P. What is a three P? Sweep? Sweep them. Sweep them. I, I, I think, like, I'm high. I'm high on our guys. I think I am that we can win. A bold prediction. I'm bold. Big Ten. Big Ten regular season champions, Big Ten tournament champions, and national championship title. Why? Has that, Why? Has that, has that ever been done? I think Mo Cleasner may have did it in 2000. They, I, they had the three-peat? I think they probably had the three-peat. We got to check that out. But we I think they may have had the three-peat. Yeah, but check that out. Th th this is why. We, we said it earlier. If, if you got – if you got – Great guard play, you have a chance. If you got multiple bigs, you got a chance. If you got versatility, you got a chance. We have all of those. Yeah. I think we have another year with Madi, Carson, Jackson, Xavier. We got different guys we can throw at Zach Eady, right? Like. Yeah. Purdue is the Purdue is the, the prediction to win, right? That's yeah, yeah, the favorite. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So to stop Purdue, you got to have someone for Big Fella, and you're not gonna stop him. I think I you think just got to tire him, tire him out. Yeah, you got like you got to do something. Last year we said let him score forty. He gave us I think forty, <laughs> <laughs> and they won. So he, he did I, what he he was supposed he, to do. Yeah, he did what he was supposed to do, but I, I think that another year under our belt with the guys that we have, the different looks that we can give a team, and hopefully with the improved offensive package that Madi Carson, now he has to guard them. Now another big has to guard them. Right. So I think we got all the pieces, man. So I'm going three, Pete, Sweep or however you want to call it, three and sweep. Bring the broom out. Three P. I triple. <laughs> what you want to call it? I I got it all. <laughs> no, for sure. I, I mean, I I agree with you. The the potential is definitely there, and and I mean, we got one of the best in the game. We got Coach Is. I mean, he's. I said it last year. He's the he's the face of the Big Ten. Who who else who else is better than him? Um, to lead lead his guys to that promised land, and I think uh, if they can buy in, I think we we our chances are very high in accomplishing those goals um, at the end Cause, of March. Because right, think about it: the year we won, the year we made it to the national championship game in two thousand eight, two thousand nine. I was Big Ten Defensive Player of the Year. Kalen was Player of the Year. Of the year. Coach was Coach of the Year. Yep. I think. Tyson Walker can be player of the year. I agree with you. Jaden Atkins can be defensive player of the year. And if those two guys get that, 
And with us winning, coach would be coach of the year. Easy. I, I also think, I also think we have Xavier or Cohen Carr. I'm going to give them both because I think Cohen Carr is going to be a guy that may get more minutes than Xavier, maybe. They both have the potential to be freshmen of the year. If Cohen Carr can do what you said, watch is every game, every game, dunk the ball, dunk the ball, like in warm ups, dunk the ball. You don't have to show no one you can shoot jumpers. No. He should right now be thinking, I'm going to try to dunk everything and I'm going to rebound the hell out the ball. Yeah. So if I rebound the hell out the ball, that means you're a great offensive rebounder. And if you can get and be a great off, well, you were really good. Your freshman year, you were able to get offensive rebounds. You did a great job of wedging people, right? You would wedge them out. You were strong. You knew how to be low. And because you were quick, right, which is why you were a mismatched problem in Europe and you're, you had such a great career, is that they put you at the five. Yeah. And you were like, yo, you too slow to guard me. Yeah, for sure. So Cohen Carr... If he can learn how to offensive rebound, what she should be able to be a great rebounder, like he's going to have some highlights. And, it's, and you know, as you know, like basketball is entertainment. It, it, so that type of stuff gets you on da 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 The top one. play of last Number night's eight. game <laughs> <laughs> is Cohen Carr with a dunk. So I think he has the potential to be – freshman in the year yeah, and I man. think we got the we have the guy that won the he he, had, he led the Big Ten in assists was his AJ yeah so yeah. we first got team. first team first man yeah. like we got some pieces and this not a this not like a stretch this is actually realistic yeah for sure that we have these pieces for sure uh you're you're 100% right um now that the show is you know coming toward towards an end um you know what time it is. I think I think you know what time it is. Yes, sir. Hey, man, it is. Oh shit! I didn't <laughs> start <laughs> to over the I didn't drew a blank. Yeah, I just I thought you hit with the word. Oh, okay. word. I was. Yeah. I drew a blank. Start that over, Sam. Now that the show was coming towards an end, Trav, I think you know what time it is. It is time for Word on Campus. Trav, give everybody that good old word, my boy. One second. Ray, do you want to do that opposed to saying coming to an end? You want to just leave right into like, yo, yeah. Word on Campus. So opposed to like since the end, we can just go okay. right into Word okay. on Campus right, and man. then just go, yo. Hey, Trav, it's, it's about that time. Word on Campus. Hey, tell me the good word, my boy. Don't panic. Hit the button, but don't hit it. Don't don't slam on it. Just just touch it. Just 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 kind of rub it and smooth it. But don't panic. We okay. Finesse it. Finesse, it. <laughs> Finesse that thing. Finesse it. It's okay. Listen, we lost to Grand Valley before. Yeah. We've had other. Mo Cleves now lost to Wright State. Like yeah. we've had tough losses. So you guys are not the first team. You the first team in probably the social media, like the, like the social media era where everybody's on top of you and saying. Oh, oh also, we, we, we lost to Texas, Texas Southern as well. <laughs> we lost to Texas Southern. So we had our fair share of like bad losses. No, for sure. Now with social media in the, the world and so many people that have an opinion and so many people following us. It's easy to panic. It, it's easy to point fingers. But hey, pump your brakes. Yes, sir. Don't panic. We all right, baby. We all right. We good. We getting we ready. Good. We good. Don't panic. Yes, sir. With that said, that has been another episode of About Sparty brought to you by Beyond the Big Ten. Ladies and gentlemen, hey, that is our show. Peace. Y'all. Yeah.